Welcome back to Web API Tutorials. I am Venkat. Till now, we have learned our Web API services without using the service layer, right? So, we have started writing the entire business logic inside the controller only. So, from this video onwards, let us start creating the service layers and let's put the business logic inside the service layers and let's consume those service layers from our controllers more people are asking in the comments for creating these services so from this video onwards let us start using the service layer in our web api tutorials so till now we have completed the role and role privilege controller so we need to create the user controller user management so let us start creating the service layer for user management so for that let us start creating the folder first so right click on the project add new folder and name it as a services enter and right click on that services folder and add class name this you need to select the interface here and name that interface as user service okay normally in c sharp if you are creating a interface we will put i in front of that this is a interface created for user service now let us create the main service right click on services folder add class and now select class and name it as user service okay inherit this user service from i user service now our service is ready okay user service is ready so let us add the constructor and so normally we will you can see here we will inject the repository related stuff in the controller but when we are using the services we need to do this inside the service layer not inside the controller layer okay so let's do this in the service layer so here we need to make it user repository user repository so here it is user repository so we have injected user repository into the service so what else required auto mapper also required So now auto mapper injection is completed. Okay. So now our service is ready for usage. So in this service, so let us start creating the user related business logic methods. Okay. So out of those user related business logic methods, first thing we need to do here is so here we need to create the business logic methods like create password hash so like this we need to implement the methods so before implementing these methods we need to 
put the definitions inside the interface okay these are the abstract methods inside the interface so the input here is string password this is the input and we need to create the hash for that and we need to return that return So like this, we will create the business logic methods and we will use these methods using the user service. Once the user service creation is completed, so let's start creating the user CRUD operations by creating the password hash. In the next video, we need to create the password hash. Once the password hashing is ready, then we need to create the user creation process. Okay, yeah. Let's implement this method in the next video. For more videos like this, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.